know if you can see that, but that's the bite. I knew I was going to, uh, I knew I was going to get zapped there. I seen him honing in on my finger. I was like, oh man. And I was trying to use that uh, antler in there as a kind of a, a, a buffer. Because <clears throat> even last time I tried that, I seen him honing in on the finger because the finger is warmer. So I thought, oh, he's going to, he, I, I knew eventually this is what was going to happen. Um, I hope he didn't hurt his teeth when I, when I pulled back from him. Hope his, uh, all his teeth are intact and all of that. Probably won't be doing that again for a while. Um, or, or I'll figure out a different method to dangle the mice because I do like dangling the mice and have him, you know, come after something that is a little bit, uh, pseudo alive. Um, the reason I started feeding him the, the already dead mice in the first place is because they stopped selling, uh, mice in the city where I live that are, that are live, uh, for snake food. So <clears throat> I can trap mice, but, um, Right now he likes a certain kind, the kind that's called the hopper, which is like the teenager juvenile mouse. It's the right size for him, and my chances of just catching a hopper out of the blue are, are uh, pretty small. So I'm buying these ones, um, but I still want him to get some of the hunt experience, um, some of the predator thing, not just have a dead mouse flopped in his cage. So that's why I've been hand feeding him. Unfortunately, this is the really predictable um, outcome of hand feeding. This is not the first time this has happened to me. It's the first time it, it's happened with this snake, but in the past I've had uh, boa constrictors bite me for the, the exact same reason. So.